Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak and we finally had it happen. It's finally happened. We got a character that could end our run. It's scary, but we got Tainted Jacob, which I'm just not looking forward to at all on a streak like this because this guy is a character that I find difficult at the best of times. So we'll see how this goes, but HP wise things are looking good right off the bat. We got an XL floor here. There is many, many, many things you can do to, to alleviate some of the pain points of this character. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to, like, you can get screwed over. Certain rooms can just absolutely screw you no matter how well you play sometimes. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. That's a bit screwy as well, to be honest. Oh my god. Okay. 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 This room's fucking horrible. Did not like that. Lost my soul heart right off the bat. Please give me one back. There you go. There you go. But yeah, we're just going to be careful about how we utilize our Anima Solar. And we've just got to keep him in check. Keep him in check at all times. I tend to not use Anima Solar enough when I'm playing with, as this character. So I'm going to try to make sure I use it a bit more. Also, I apologize if you can hear some background noise. There is um, some, like, people chopping down trees outside my flat. So that's a thing. Um... Hopefully it's not something that's too bothersome all the time, but I think it is going to be a bit bothersome for a little while here. Uh, can you just dash over there? There you go. And then let's bomb this <clears throat> to try and get some more bombs. There you go, baby. There you go. Okay, let's take care of the red fires first before they destroy me. And I'll button it up as well on this one. Donation machine, kind of a weird pull there, but there you go. Some of these rooms are brutal, man. Some of these rooms are brutal. Ha fa having a hard time dodging things. But, oh, wait, really? I was just about to say, but we can utilize this guy to do some big damage. Then he just completely misses absolutely everything. Right, we are, of course, at the minute going for uh, our second, uh, second item room. This is an XL floor. We'll hope we can grab our devil deal as well this floor, but who knows? We just gotta play it alarmingly safe. Like, as safe as is humanly possible at all times. So far, I've not done a great job of that, losing a soul heart and a half already, which isn't good. In fact, I've already lost my Devil Deed chance, I didn't even think about that. I already lost it, so. That's already gone. Ugh, really? Okay. Okay. Pretty bad first floor in terms of it as far as items go, so. Already not off to a great start, I'd say, here. Already not off to a great start. We can make it work, though. We can make it work. Um, Right. Try and find our shop, because we have a lot of bombs. I feel like shop plus bombs could be useful. Good, good. You set you on fire, my dude. You're already made of fire. Like, I don't really know why that hurt you as much as it did, but thank you for dying. <clears throat> Lovely stuff. Alright. Oh, oh, my god. I'm already stressing big style. Not much I can get from that. Good to have him dash there. We'll go back and look for secret room after this if we can, depending on whether we get devil deal or not, really. This is an XL floor. I kind of forgot about that for a hot minute with uh, having two bosses to fight. Well, it was nice for you to kill that ball the moment he spawned it, I will say. It was definitely nice. Unfortunately, this is a bad boss for us because there's just very little space to work with now. But we managed to kill him relatively quickly. And the fires... I was going to say, the fires will go away soon. No, they won't. They'll just stick around forever. Good, good. Oh, we get a trinket smelting one as well here. That's nice. I knew that was a bit of a bit of a whiff on Animus all of that. I, I used it too early. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a bit groggy, I have just eaten. It's always the case that my voice is a bit off after I've uh, just had a meal. Okay. Dude, I'm having a, a real hard time right now with this. This is a hard boss to uh, to have with this guy because there's just so much going on. Okay, at least he doesn't spawn more of these dudes. How is, how is that one not dead though? Like this guy here, he must be like one HP off death. There you go. Lovely. 
Okay, Bar of Soap is incredibly good. Okay, Bar of Soap's very, very good for us. Uh, we can do this now and see where it teleports us to. Secret room's pretty useful. Probably should have blown up the uh, Keeper, but oh well. Okay. Wasn't expecting a secret room pull there. I'm glad I did. Ooh, I got a golden penny as well. This is why we're min-maxing. We've got to. We've got to min-max. It's the only way. But Soul Heart every floor is an incredible boon for us. Did take damage there, but I just simply don't care. Cern Bond is very good as a trinket. Okay. Health-wise, we're doing good so far. Uh, what was in the shop again? I don't remember item-wise if there was anything of value in here. Uh, cheese grater removes a heart container, gives us three mini Isaacs, and gives us a tiny bit of damage. It's pretty much worthless. Um, right. It's only good if you want to remove heart containers on purpose. To the next floor. <clears throat> to the next floor. Yeah, I've just got to play incredibly cautiously. Uh, I do have a few Discord messages I'm going to have to check in a second. One moment. Right, let's keep it going. We've got to try and be speedy at the start of each floor to, to make as much time as we can before the bad boy shows up. Unfortunately here, very, very tough enemy in terms of HP. Just, this thing has so much HP. Well, look, how, look how long we've been shooting at it for and it's not dead yet. There you go, finally. I'm going to lock him in place. Give me that penny. So, as I was saying, trying to make as much progress as we can didn't really work considering... He's uh, appearing after the, only the second room. Not ideal. Good, good. What we need is an item that makes uh, Anima Solar even more effective against him, which I think there's a few. Car batteries one, I think. Um, nine volts, pretty good. I'm going to go straight for the uh, straight for the thingy here. Don't even know if this is a good idea, actually. That would kill pretty much everything, apart from those polyps, or whatever you want to call these things. I would have thought it would have killed them, but apparently not. Good. Getting good damage on him where we can. Could use bombs on him, of course, but just don't feel it's super necessary. We did get a Devil Deal, which is kind of unfortunate, really, because I could have stole from the Devil Deal here if I'd have played this right, and I didn't. So, my bad, I guess. Sulfur's potentially good. I'll take Sulfur. I'll take Sulfur. Good for our bosses. Secret room here, lovely. The world is actually kind of nice. Uh, I think I'll save it for the next floor, though. Don't really need it this floor. Yeah, I don't know how slash when I'm going to use the... Uh, when I'm going to use Sulfur effectively, but mainly it's going to be in boss rooms. Cool. Certain rooms like that are the ones that sketch me out. Rooms that have very little room for me to maneuver sketch me out a lot. And here we got Lawn Darts, which are a decent item. Get out of here, you. Shitter. Right, just, just just block him off while I while I do this. Lawn darts is pretty good. We get some hemorrhaging on enemies every now and again, which is useful to have. Okay, shop is the last bastion of this floor, so that, and that was a bit of damage that I shouldn't have taken there, but I'm pretty much okay with considering. And then in here we get Greed's Butt, which is incredible. I don't know 100% if it will block hits from um, the Ezao boy himself, but it might. And if it does, very, very good for us. Very, very good for us. Anyways, down to the next floor. We'll get a Soul Heart upon going to the next floor, and then we can pop our World Card straight away. But yeah, Greed's Butt, very, very good for us in terms of protection. Really nice. Down we go. A little annoyed that I couldn't steal from that Devil Deal, but it's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, rooms like this. Very nice for to use our brimstone on. 
It's not going to be always we can do that, but whenever we can, I will. Good. good. Bomb through here. Here he comes. The, the Wishing Star is potentially pretty good, but I think Cern Bond has the chance to be better, so I'm going to stick with Cern Bond for now. I might just stay out this guy's way. I'm really hoping Greedbutt blocks a hit from him, but I, I just don't think it will. Greedbutt does block any hit, but I just don't know if he'll be the same. That was good. Just getting him to the other side of the room is enough for, enough of a success for me. I, I don't like rooms like this just because of all the uh, the webbing. There you go. That 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 alleviates a lot of my pain. Do you know what? I'm I'm even gonna bomb this as well just to get it out of the way. Random Lamagetan Wisp, Heart of China. I don't even know what Heart of China does. Thank you for it, though, nonetheless, I guess. Thank you for having me. Oh, my God. I'm so stressed. I'm honestly so stressed. It's all this run's going to be. It's just me talking about how stressed I am. I haven't even done a question of the day. But fuck it. What are you doing to improve yourself this year? There you go. There's one. Throw that one out there real quick. In here, we've got number one. Our range isn't bad. Um, I think it's worth it. Yeah, that didn't that didn't lower our range too much. That's fine. Here's the hug. Quickly blow that up. See what card we get. Strength. The moon. The moon's good for next floor. I'll take it. Okay, keep Animus all already. We got a shop there. We've not really got enough money for it right now. Probably could have done a little bit more with that uh, blowing up the blood donor machines. Oh, my, my greed's butt went off. I didn't even realize. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the blood donor machines because if I can get enough to fill up greed's butt again, I'd be very happy. Almost filled. I'm using a lot of bombs here, but it's potentially worth it for safety. Unfortunately, it was not. I probably could have played some red hearts into the uh, the last blood donor machine there. That probably would have been the better play. But I just didn't want to hang about. I didn't want to be hanging about where I didn't need to be. Basically, at this point, I'm like, it's fucking okay to get hit by an enemy if it means avoiding him. Ooh, Glizzy is good. We will certainly grab Glizzy. This should fill up our greed butt as well. Yes, it does. Good, good. Glizzy is just a bunch of small stat upgrades, but it's also a red heart container, which is rather nice. Good, good. Didn't really go as planned. No, you greed butted me right off the bat. Are you kidding? That was kind of evil. Luckily, we do have Brimstone here, so we shouldn't have a hard time killing this guy. He does this attack for so long, though. There you go, we got him. Blood Clot. And now we can steal from a Devil Deal if we want, so I think I'm going to grab that for free. Then let him hit me. Grab that. Get out of here. Cool. Oh my god. The the run is the run's pretty good so far. The run's pretty good. Just gotta be careful as all. Well. Fill up my greed's butt as fast as I can. I think it's five coins to refill it, so it's not always a super quick thing to refill. The hemorrhaging doesn't seem to do as much damage as I initially thought. It's kind of good, but... Ooh, there's a black heart back there. Let me see that. I think uh, a skull got destroyed and gave me a black heart. So yeah, like, HP-wise, we're doing well, but HP just does not matter with this guy. Well, that's Greed's butt refilled. Good. 
Good, just get him out of the way for a hot minute. Greatsbot's already refilled, leave the pennies on the floor. My god, you've got a lot of HP, my guy. Step back. It's always the toss-up of, do I even want to do these extra rooms at this point? Okay, being slippy is, is very bad for us, so we need to get away from this room as soon as possible. Room like this is quite bad as well. Sticky floors is not good for us. What's in here? What's in here? Error room. Mini Isaacs. Stars. Stars is perfect right now. Euthanasia. I'm very glad I came back for that. Euthanasia is tippity top tier. Euthanasia plus Lawn Dart is going to be good here. We only have one look, so it's not like we're getting loads out of it right now, but I still think it's valuable nonetheless. Yeah. Any room with a lot of blocks to maneuver between is going to be awkward. Oh my god, I, I, this is this this the commentary on this episode is just not going to be great because <laughs> I am going to be stressing the whole time. That look increase is very nice here. Uh, error room, please. I'll pop this first. Thank you for that. We get that penny to refill our butt. And pop this. Keep you at bear. This guy has some tricks, so we got to be a little careful with him. Like that. Okay, we're good. Don't care about being hit by the boss. We get Squeezy. Rather nice with fire rate. A little bit of extra HP. Come in here and see what we got. Empty Vessel is kind of interesting. And then... What's this? Damage up on pickup replaces all soul hearts. Um... Put all soul hearts and black hearts with moral hearts. Okay, definitely don't want that. And then we'll go corruption here. The error room. Which unfortunately wasn't all that great. What 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 crown is this? Okay, no. Let's just go. Couldn't pick up those items for some reason. I don't care. Let me out. <laughs> just let me escape. Yeah, empty vessel is kind of a more backup strat for later. I don't know if I'll need it. Lost my China heart. My Greed's butt's refilled. Why does that always cause a Fiend Folio error when I destroy one of those pipes? My Greed's butt has been emptied again, but refilled once again. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good, baby. It's so good. I right, just stay on the move as much as I can. The good thing is we have plenty of health to like take hits to get out the way of him if we need to. I've just got to keep a very close eye on him as all. Well. Oh, I, I lost my greed spot there. I didn't realize. I need to be, keep a very close eye on that as well. That's very imperative. Right, refilled again. Dude! There was a fucking poop fly on me. You're kidding. I just filled that. Rooms like this are very bad because they have enemies that can move me and push me into him very easily. We do not want that. Oh, I got stuck in the corner there. Careful. And here, oh, an amazing item for HP. Plus 10 luck for the room. Doesn't do too much for us right now. Okay. Just, you got to play in a different way. you got to be always on the move. Again, enemies that can knock us back are very bad. A full card there will take. Straight into the boss. A lot of rocks in here. I don't like that. I'm going to have to bomb those rocks. They're really in the way. Good. 
Take that. Check out this. This is pretty good. We'll take it. Come back over here. Probably should have taken both. The thingy Mulligan's good. Fire rate up is nice. B skin's good. I think I'm going to go with the Mulligan. Full card out. And away we go. I know I've got money for the shop, but I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. I really should have taken the empty vessel. Uh, proc there. I'll, if, I, if I can go back in and take it, I will. Flight is very useful for us here. We can go back in. Nice. We've got empty vessel going on now. Lovely. Right, we're to the womb. We're about halfway there, basically. About halfway there. I'm playing very fast right now. I'm not min-maxing much, but I just I've just got to take advantage as much as I can. Green spots refilled. Good, good. I've just got to take advantage as much as I can as of the early space while I don't have this guy chasing me. I don't have an awful lot of damage either, which isn't helping. Luckily, Sulfur for bosses does make things a lot easier. This is a pretty awful room here. I don't like him being stuck outside. There you go. Another kind of awful room here. I'm not really using him for combat that much. I did get hit there, apparently. I'm not really using him for combat that much. I just think it's difficult to utilize him for combat safely in smaller rooms. In bigger rooms, it's all right. But Anima Solar, I find, actually kind of can mess me up a little bit sometimes. So I prefer to just save it for when I feel like I need it. Which isn't always. There are some pennies in here I'm going to go grab real quick. Try and refill Greed's butt a little bit. Okay. Gotta stop, buddy. Just hoping I go the right way here. Another bad room here. Very little maneuverability space. Good job I've got flight. That helps a ton. My health is getting a bit low, but we've got that we've got that item that makes all red hearts into blended hearts, which basically means HP is, shouldn't be an issue. Just haven't had any red heart drops is all. Good. Last penny to fill up our butt. Gotta love the phrasing there, gotta love the phrasing. Well that was rather nice to get euthanasia there. Made things simpler. This seems like it's the, about the right way. I don't think invincibility from thingy saves me here. Hairpin. Hairpin's not very good for us, I don't think. Not that our act, uh, thingy trinket right now is doing a whole lot for us, but still. There's our boss. Good, good. Keep our distance from him. Good, good. We got fetus in a jar. And then here, let's have a little look see. Is there anything we really want here? I'll walk into you for little brim. Okay, so Greed's butt does not prevent us from being turned into. The ghost. But while we're the ghost, if we have it available, it should prevent us from dying, at least. Little Brim doesn't do a whole lot for us, but it synergizes with regular Brim when we have it. So I don't think it's bad. Not a big fan of a room like this with a guy that's hard to kill. And it also works with Little Abaddon as well, which we're not really utilizing to the fullest of our ability either, but he's getting his hits in out every now and again. A little hard to keep track of Greed's butt at this stage. Don't think we'll be able to refill it super easily, but it is what it is. Ooh, that's a that's a potential refill right there. 
They have one penny off now. Makes life easier. Big rooms, in theory, should be the easiest to avoid, but I, I, I feel like I lose Izao so easily in the big rooms. You just gotta, in big rooms, you just gotta keep moving, and they, it'll never strike you. You don't give him chance to catch up. He'll never go. Don't care about the key. Just leave it. Okay. It's the small rooms that are more difficult for, like, actually having him strike, but normally it's pretty easy to keep an eye on. Okay, rooms like this are terrible. Get into the safety of over here. Good, good, we're through that room. Did not like that at all. Oh, God. The stress is very high at the moment. Thank you for filling my butt. Certainly helps. Saved us many a hit over the course of this run thus far. Just gotta hope we're going the right way. Don't know how I didn't get hit there, actually. That was kind of crazy. I I took a hit there, apparently. It's kind of bullshit. This is a room that'd be good to use him offensively on, but I'm just so used to not doing that now that I'm not gonna change my tune. Quickly just checking here. Nothing. Yeah, I can't believe I lost my greed spot to uh, to this room here. I'm not quite sure what happened. I think I walked into the grimace and it did damage to me for some reason. Or like like did some fake damage to me, and the greed spot thought it was normal damage. Can we not with you? Thank you. Okay. Just about to say one of these has to be the right way. More pennies, thank you. I need as many as you can give me all the time, always and forever. Stay over the gaps if I need to here. There's our pennies. New refill, let's go. That, those are the ones that scare me, where he dives the moment you enter the room. Because I, I never know what, what angle he's going to go for when he does that. It's always a bit up in the air. Also, this is going to be kind of rough as well. Luckily, we can do good damage to him, but honestly, we're going to take some hits in here. We're just going to have to. Unfortunately, his last phase is going to be really annoying as well. No, I just missed it. This phase is going to be really annoying. Luckily, we actually have invincibility for some of this so far. Okay, I think we're I think we're through it now, through the worst. Of it. I took one damage there. That's fine. That's fine. Quickly check this out. Take my shadow, and away we go. Okay, we're nearly it. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. The stress is almost over. My Shadow wasn't a great pick there, but it's better than Guppy's Pride, I think. Pentacles is nice. Take a card, it's just Justice, unfortunately. Well, that's actually not a bad Justice, to be honest. Really was hoping not to be fighting this guy. Waste of time when he does Invincibility. Did get an item out of it. Unfortunately, it's not a great, it's not a great item. It doesn't really help us at all. Right, keep it going. Keep it breezy. Keep it light. I'm just my main worry at the minute is getting a, a room that's just really, really hard to avoid him in. And there's plenty of those. Quickly, just gonna go back this. I got flight. What am I doing? Go back this way. Grab that. 
I might take that trinket, you know, the uh, the fire mind one. I think it's better than Sun Bond at this point. Okay, quickly check in here. Not much, although there is a penny to fill up my greed spot, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I do not like this. Our rooms go. This is pretty trash. Mr. Potman, we got you. It's all about speed clearing the rooms. Clear the rooms before our boy has a chance to do his thing. Right, one, two, three, and four. Mutant spiders. Always mutant spiders. Mutant spiders is something we want right now. We've got enough fire rate. I think it is. Get mutant spider a lot here. Yeah, again, I don't care about taking damage. It's it's caring about getting hit by him that I care about. Apple of Sodom's kind of interesting, but not for me right now. Keep our distance from the boy. One of you is invisible, apparently. Okay. Not ideal. Yeah, I think we got him. Whew, looks like we're on the right way to the boss here as well. Apparently, I lost my greed's butt there as well. Invincibility there gives us some safety. Another penny. Lovely. Not enough, but it's something. Thank you for missing. We're playing this pretty well, I think. We're playing this pretty well. We've, we've picked up items that work for us. Items that make it easier for us to play around him. Mainly flight. Flight allows us a lot and a lot of leeway. Another penny. Right, boss time. Now, quad shot brimstone maybe isn't the best choice, but overall shouldn't be too bad. Okay, the lasers, I literally don't care about getting hit by the lasers. If I get hit by them, I get hit by them. That's just kind of is what it is sort of situation. Okay, we got him. Nice. Do you want to dive at me? There you go, so I can get in the chest easier. Right, okay, last floor. Last floor, baby. Last floor. Good, 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 good. Very, very, very bad as a room. Just a slow one. That's right, rooms go, it's not ideal. Eden's Blessing won't do anything for us, but it's a nice fire rate increase for now, I guess. More pennies, lovely. I'll be spawning in this room here, I'd expect. Luckily we have flights, this makes this room a bit easier. Unfortunately, the bludgeoning is making this room very laggy. Which is not not good at all for uh, when Ezel shows up. So I'm going to get hit by him if he's lagging this much. Oh god, this is unbearable. If I get hit by him in this room, I'm, I'm calling bullshit, because... I can barely see what's going on. The bludgeoning is, is causing some real issues here. The one of them is dead. Okay, we, we luckily got him in the end there. That was a bit sketchy, but we got him in the end. Okay, these guys are just bomb guys that won't move. I don't actually know where he is at the minute. I'm just going to ignore whatever's going on over there. The bludgeoning actually is good because it's just going to kill him over time. Right. Teddy headies go away. Unfortunately, wrong way here. Cross fire mind hurt me there. Wouldn't be a, a run if fire mind didn't hurt you. Right. Keep moving, keep moving. Ooh, they all took Polly. 
I wonder how they choose the item they get there. I don't even know how that works. Keeping an eye on you, buddy. I'm keeping an eye on you. I'm keeping an eye on you. Ow. Regular damage don't bother me. Okay, we're at the boss. What we got in here? What's what's going on? Not great stuff. There's kind of a bit of an awful boss set up here. Ah, okay, okay. The B enemy's dead. The B enemy's dead. It's just organization now, whatever his name is. She is actually too bad. We got him? Is he not dead yet? What's going on? Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Right, boss time. It's boss time. Greed butt is filled. Greed butt is filled. That room took forever to end for some reason. Grab a snail. Now we just got to get a nice quick kill on this guy. We've got plenty of HP to work with. So... It's not fret. It's not worry. Second phase already. It's only took about four shots of that. Okay, my shadow just fucking went crazy on him there. Amazing. Third phase. Third phase, baby. Third phase. Greed's butt hasn't even triggered yet, so we're good on that front as well. Greed's butt has triggered now. Keep an eye on him. Okay. My god, we fucking did it. Woo! The stress. My god, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Oh my god, I will go and die for an hour. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.